Hey everybody, how's it going? This is the Rodent here. I have my mate Ruben with me, Rubes and Zed. We are going to be doing a tier list of the locations in the current season of Fortnite. As you can see down below, as always, we have all of the locations there. I love, I love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. Okay, that was pain. Now, Ruben, would you like to introduce yourself again? I think all the people know who you are, but feel free. Hey everyone, my name's Ruben Zed. You probably know me because I'm in probably 90% of Rodent's YouTube videos, so very familiar voice around here. Okay, but no further ado, let's go straight up to the top left of the map. We have Log Jam Lumberyard. Now, I know we've dropped here quite a fair amount of times, but we will set them up in three different categories. Quality of the loot, the quantity of how many people go there, and then the amount of cover that you have. So, Log Jam, I feel like there's a rather decent amount of loot there. Like, you get a fair amount of chests. Yeah, you do. You do get a fair amount of chests, you do get a fair amount of, you know, ammo boxes, but it's just one of those places that, for some reason, every man and his dog goes there. Yeah. If it's right at the start of the pathway for the bus, or even at the end, you always find that many people will go to Log Jam. It's not golden, straight, <laughs> straight at the bat. The fact that we're already <laughs> going on about all the negatives of it, it just shows that it's not going to be golden, and it will never but, be golden. But, there is a big but. That cover there is actually all right personally um because there's lots of corners and everything that you can sort of hide behind and there's lots of um sort of outside areas and sort of inside areas that sort of have decent cover um just like the head glitching there's a lot of head glitch availability at this location it's all right it's not amazing it's not bad it's just it's just eh it's eh. it's a place to drop it doesn't like it's not the go-to but it's a place to drop so like are we saying when we're saying around a ish a b ish i'd say b honestly b, eh? okay okay b. Yeah, the reason i say that the sole reason is because if you miss the drop that's the place that you go to because usually it's at the end of the battle bus or yep, it's at the start yep. if you kind of forget to drop you always got a log jam so, okay uh on to the next one okay so we're going a little more into the top center we have uh shifty shafts or as I like to call it, Shifty Shafts. Hey, this is a PG channel. Shifty Shafts. <laughs> Shifty Shafts, sorry. <laughs> well, Shifty Shafts has always been there from the start, hasn't it? No, it was, um, it got added and when Tilted Towers got added. So, like, that big map update they did, oh, okay. they added in all these places and Shifty Shafts was one of them. Right, okay, yeah. Like, now, this is a place that I am going to 100% say it is one of the best places for cover. There's so much cover. There's so many walls that you can hide behind. So many peaking walls. Obviously, it's a mine shaft. You have a whole underground mine area where it can just be perfect for um, wall peakings. And also underground. mining diamonds. Also mining diamonds. Yes, also mining diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> However, I don't find that there's a lot of loot there. Yeah, it's like you don't have enough time to get to log jam, so you just go to its adoptive brother. And yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's the one that like oh crap I'm not gonna make it to log jam we have to land in shifty shafts <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know you come out of there surviving and you've got pistols a sniper and maybe an SMG yeah so even if you do come out as the last one or in the last squad or queue you will find that you don't have much loot to even survive the later game it's yeah yeah so like with that it's less than log jam it's going down in C for me I don't it's see it any any higher than that yeah okay next one sleepy sleepy sound i don't drop there that often bro we dropped there in our lightsaber one it's the perfect place for the lightsabers it does have for this update it has a lot of the star wars stuff i don't know if that's a reason or if that's like a little funny joke that epic games did but like for some reason whenever you drop there you always inside each house it's always like a minimum of three or a minimum of two items of star wars stuff yeah sleepy sound for some reason yeah it's just i don't know maybe it's a code code bug but you always find star wars stuff here and now in terms of its loot and everything yeah you do get a fair amount of weapons in it uh in terms yeah. of how many people drop a surprisingly a large amount of people drop here yeah but when in terms of the cover this is actually the first time where i'm going to say there's too much cover because it's such a close compact residential area that many of the little kids in the game would just hide around, hide in a corner. Yeah, that's very true. You just, you sort of go inside a house and, you know, go in to loot it up. And since they're standing so still, you walk in the door and poof, poof, range your shotgun into the head. Range your shotgun. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the bad way of using a range of shotgun, by the way. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, I don't like it anywhere higher than that, in my opinion. That, yep, that's true, yep. 
Only no, land there for the Star Wars update. Don't land anywhere else. Bing. Done. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to Spider-Man country. Well, Spider-Man land. Uh, the Daily Bugle. What do you think? I, I just want to make sure it is Spider-Man stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Daily Bugle is set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's also Marvel property. So, yes, it is Spider-Man. And there we go. Thank you. Marvel genius. Okay, cool. So, Daily Bugle, outdated. <laughs> Outda <laughs> it should have been removed, like, last season. <laughs> Yes, 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 and yes. It's a bloodbath. It's just like, it's a giant crater for a bloodbath. Especially when there was the missions there. Everyone would just go there yeah. to try and do the mission, but then you have the those kids, you have the guys that have no spine, and they'll just shoot you down before you can get the mission done because they want kills. Yeah. Or they've already done the mission. Exactly. Now Daily Bugle is just a space fella, I find. Like, if they... But they could easily put something else there. Exactly. And I just feel like when you walk past it, and there's just always that one kid that's sort of just standing on the top of the Daily Bugle, just waiting there. Yeah. Just, you know, ruin everybody's day. Yeah, what's up with that? There's always a guy that's sitting on the edges of the crater being an absolute snipe fest, just trying to pick up anyone that's trying to pick up this, pick up the scraps. Like, they don't, like, something about the Daily Bugle, people just don't like scavengers there honest yeah and also not to mention you always will have a battle bus so people will automatically just take out the bottoms of all the buildings so at the near the end of the game if the daily bugle is in the zone it's just a bunch of foundations and a tons of loot it's not foundation it's just flat it's just yeah it's nothing it's just it's flat earth situation the zone like perfectly closes in on the daily bugle no one's got cover there's no cover anywhere even the rocks go Unless you do, unless you're in build mode, then yes, there is cover. Oh. But if you're in no build mode, then there's no cover at all. So like daily bugle for the challenge? No, I'd put, actually I'd put it as a B. Like, I don't. I, okay. I find it um like the challenge is great. That's the only reason why it goes up from the C, from my opinion. Quite a few amount of chests in it too, and then not to mention also uh, there's other chests around the edges of the crater yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Now I we don't land here often. When we usually land here, we get absolutely dumpstered. Uh, Command Cavern. Command Cavern. The loot. If you can kill the you know the big boss guy and get to his vault. You mean Gunner? Yeah. Yeah. Gunner. The skin that's uh, that I use for all my videos. Yeah. Is Gunner. Yeah. I, Gunner. Yeah. But you know I don't really take notice of you know the skin names. I just call it the big boss dude because he is the big boss dude. Yeah. You know he's the one. That Juiced up and everything, but yes, Gunner. <laughs> when you kill Gunner, right, you get his cool key card and you get to open his vault. Yes. In there, amazing loot. Amazing, amazing loot. loot. It's worth the fight because you're not just fighting Gunner; you're also fighting every single other player that's trying to defeat Gunner too. So once you're yeah. the last two or the last one there, there is so much loot in that vault. There's like eight chests. There's like there's shield kegs, there's ammo boxes, there's there's little safes in there, gold, yeah. gold, tons of gold. It's just worth all that effort to get to that point. You may not win the yeah. game, is probably the zone will close off away from Command Cavern before the time yeah. you fully looted it, but you yeah. still get tons of XP. Because like for me, whenever I'm playing Fortnite, it's not about like not so much as winning. It's always good to get to the top ten or even the top five. It's for me, it's just making sure I can level up that battle pass the most. So going into that vault, you earn so much XP. For some reason, whenever I go there, not many people go there. Well, whenever I, I per personally yeah, go yeah. there. I think I might have a reason why. It's mostly because of the IO units that are there. Like, they just become a huge inconvenience. Yeah, yeah. As many will play the game, they'll loot over the time span of the game. So they'll get much yeah. better stuff from killing other enemies as well as finding it in chests. So it's not yeah. really... Yeah, to many, it's not really worth going in um, at the start of the game, going into an absolute bloodbath just to try and get the best loot when you, when you could just get it playing like a pussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So, like, yeah, it's not going to be. I think actually, I put, I would put it as an A, but. I do put you... it as an A personally. Yeah. A personally? Okay. Well, I'm glad yeah, we both sure. agree on that one. I wasn't 100% sure. I felt like you might want to put it into B, but. No, I, I, I... Yeah. Nah, so we're good about that. Are we good about all the five selections at the moment? I'm happy with them. I'm. I don't. What well, about you? I know, I'm quite content about uh, selection yeah. yet. Unless there's an update in the future about improving these locations to give them possibly even a rework of positioning yeah. and stuff and everything. Log jam, yeah. sleepy sound, they could easily go up one more tier. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Shifty shafts, however, you're going to have to stay. You're just there. 
You're just there as a replacement spot. This is also the point of the video, which I usually don't do. So I noticed that if I put my leave a like and subscribe stuff at the end of the video, you guys don't see it because you usually click off halfway through it. So I'll put it in here now. <laughs> if you do enjoy the video or are enjoying it so far, please leave a like. If you also want to see more videos as well as get notifications on it, hit the subscribe button as well as hit the bell. Hitting the bell will give you notifications of upcoming videos so you never miss them. That was very strong. Thank you. The fortress, yeah. I'm going to let you do your opinions on this one. I hate it. I don't like it. It's tiny. It's awful. It's too much cramp. And everyone goes there. Honestly, to everyone. This all and it is is a tank. It's like one of those drills. It has no good loot. There's a chick in it that literally teleports to four different other chicks. And then yep. all you get is like a tank. It's not worth it when there's literally about 100 meters down the road by Command Kevin, there's a tank sitting there for all for you. Just go for that tank. Honestly, chuck it in right down the bottom. Terrible. What? Oh, it's going back to the RQ. Oh, oh, biggest mistake. You should have not gone the fortress. Aye. We're we dropping boys, not the you fortress. You literally land there. You land there. And you instantly re -queue. You quit to the lobby. You land I there only you just... landed there for the missions. That's it. There's no I other reason milk. why. Okay, good. good. We got the anger out and anger and frustration out of the system. Let's go into Coney Crossroads. Now, we never land here. We don't try to, mostly because it's nah. a main place to land. It has a tank and a battle bus in it. So much loot. But, like, I, I, like you get a lot of loot, but that's the risk. It's like the trap. You have so much loot there in all those houses and all those other places, too. But there's so many people that go there. You're not going to last, even if you may take out the entire people, there's one person there that's just going to sit in the background and wait to the right opportunity to strike. Yeah, definitely. For me, Coney Crossroads, never land there. I don't have opinion on it. Like, Coney Crossroads is a good way to drive through. Just see what the mayhem is going on. So you see, like, yeah, yeah it's like similar to the Daily Bugle. You have, uh... Dead corpses. Yeah, dead corpses, loads of loot. <laughs> you also just have a foundation. Like, there's nothing there, because the battle bus and the tank would have just taken out all the buildings. Let's just say, like, C, but... The only reason because of C is if... Because you land Coney, you got balls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I already know your opinion on this one. Camp Cuddle, loot, like, also for Loot Lake. Loot Lake. Loot Lake for the boys. Loot Lake for the boys. It's <laughs> golden for me. Golden for me. I've been dropping there since day one. It's oh, boy. But we're not just talking about Loot Lake. We're also talking about the whole Camp Cuddle. Oh, Camp Cuddle crash. I hate to demotivate you here, man, but like, there is barely any cover in Camp Cuddle. You have yeah. a couple of houses, but if you want to go from one of the camping lodges to the other, there is so much room, there's so much expanse, that people that are up on the hills can just easily pick you off. And also, for Loot Lake itself, the little island in the middle, it's just a huge watchtower. Someone could easily just break it down at the bottom, and you're dead. But, like, Camp Cuddle, they just kind of ruined it. They kind of ruined the entire feel of Loot Lake. It, it's really sad for me to say this, but it's either going to B or a C. Wow! Now that's a plot twist. I thought sentimental value will bring it at least up to the A. Well, sentimental value does does want me to bring it up to a B. I'm bringing it up to a B. Okay, a well, I happily one. accept that. I agree. I agree. Now, that was very sentimental, that was very emotional, but now we're going into more of a negative emotion towards the next location on the map, and it's the lovely it's <laughs> Tilted Towers. But, now, I'm just immediately putting this here. It's just not going to change the queue. Requeue is already it. If you have chosen Tilted Towers to land in, if you're not doing a challenge, then you're brain dead. Why are you going to Tilted Towers? There's no need. Like, 50% of the people in the map go to Tilted Towers. If you want to die, go Tilted Towers. If you want to have a bad game, go Tilted Towers. If you have no wanting to live anymore, go to Tilted Towers. Okay, the third one might have been a bit too much, but it's still my point lies. However, they have blown it up in this season. They have blown it up. They always, they always, for some reason, they edit it and anyone gets excited. And then, I don't know, they always find a way to absolutely destroy it and people just like oh no Tilted's gonna go again and I'm just like no it's not because it's gonna rebuild it and then like next season boom destroyed again they just like bring it back and then destroying it 
It's you because know? everyone hates it. But don't worry, give us a month, we'll rebuild it again. But hopefully this time they've blown it up. I thank the imagined order for actually blowing up Tilted Towers this time, and I hope it stays there. Okay, we are confirming Tilted Towers re -cued. Okay, okay, let's change it before I throw up. All right, Sanctuary. <laughs> it's worse cover. It's got, it's kind of bad, let's be honest. Yeah, like the loot's pretty. Bad. The loot's pretty trash. The cover's trash, and then you got you got a battle bus, but that's usually gone. But surprisingly, a lot of people still land here. I think it's more to do on the part of like the big buildings that are there. They are perfect head glitching snipe spots. Yeah, definitely. And then whilst the other players have to go across like large expanses with no cover, it's perfect to pick off people. So like it, it, it brings out an incentive towards camping, even though that's a that's a negative thing. I, I feel like this is going into sea. It's it's just agree. Yeah. All right, greasy. Don't drop there as often. Nah, it's another one of them industrial areas, kind of like Sleepy Sound. However, it does have Star Wars stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. I find that many squads will go to Greasy Grove just for its close combat, quick games being absolutely pooped on by four people exactly. with drum shotguns. No, I don't, I'm not one to be quite competitive. Like, I hate the idea of being competitive. So yeah. I stay away from Greasy Grove. However, for an industrial area with lots of buildings and not many chests, the loots are quite good there. Like, even just on the ground. Yeah, the loot's all right. Yeah, the loot's pretty good. It's also a vehicle buffet. There's so many cars yeah. around there. So many cars. Like, there's always one house or one area that has like three cars. Yeah, yeah. You go there, like, after you drop in places nearby, just to get a car. Yeah, I agree. The thing about this place is that it has a gas station, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Well, of course, it's a little you town. Just, you can just drive there, fill up your car, off you go, and you're sorted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'll put there as a P. I like that. I like, I like, I like having you sit there. So... Uh. Having a look over now, we have only Command Cavern as an A. We have none that are golden. I feel like we might have done Camp Cuddle rather dirty. It's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's Loot Lake. It's still Loot Lake. It has sentimental value to you. Like, yes. I'm not going to bring it up to golden, but I'm happy to bring it up as an A. Okay. Bring it up yeah. to A. Like, it just... Luke, Blake, all the boys. Luke, Blake, all the boys. Oh, Luke, Blake, all the boys. <laughs> this is like the Ranger AR again. All over again. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, Rocky Reels. Now, we go here... We only went here for the missions, in truth. Yeah. We only went here for the, for the quest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. It's a great place for combat, especially because of the blimp. Like everyone's, Everyone utilizes the blimp, so everyone's going up oh. and down. You can just pop them off with the range of shotgun as they're climbing up kind of thing. Not really much else to say. The loot's okay. There's quite a few buildings there. There is still quite a large distance to travel between buildings. It's not worth golden. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm not a fan of it. It's You kind of just drop there because you kind of had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a C. Definitely okay, a C. I now may have gotten a bit confused. Um, apologize. I apologize about that. I got Sanctuary and the Joneses round the wrong way. So Sanctuary is the ones with the round top yes. buildings. Yeah. Now, that was not what I meant. In the Joneses, there's these two large lodges that have really like, triangle roofs, and they're perfect for picking off people. Uh, even though there are the, all those bushes around it. So there is some cover. It's easy to track someone around the place, though. Exactly. exactly. So, like, it's not going to equal up to Sanctuary, but I could pop it as a B. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. It's a great place to go halfway. There. It's a halfway we, through we, the match. We, we did kind of go there once, and I instantly regretted it. Yeah, like, and then and then again, sometimes I've absolute like I've absolutely buzzed there. Yeah. So like again, in terms of being a slimy sack, go to Jones's. Yeah. Um. um <clears throat> all right, Chonkers Speedway. <laughs> <laughs> synapse we don't even need to talk about synapse station it's another sweat fest to the bottom left of the map don't that's yeah. all i'm gonna say yep. chonkers speedway <laughs> golden golden <laughs> yeah we'll put it up there immediately okay it's a golden you even though there is quite an expansive place it's just got this has got sentimental value to me i love chonkers speedway tons of loot there's even caravans in there that have loot too definitely definitely now the one reason why it goes into the golden is because you get one of the best cars in the game. You get the, um, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> but it's a, a really oh. fast car. Already has off-road tires already on them. Super easy. 
to get back into the zone if it's up north on the map all we have to do is hit that left shift and just boost gas station about 200 meters down the way oh actually probably about a thousand meters but like right in the smack main middle nearby tilted there's a gas station just refill there and continue going well also the thing with chonkers right don't let any of your friends go go with your friends because they'll most probably just leave you on those cars oh yeah yeah definitely it's not like that has happened before no definitely not i'm not talking from past experience past experiences um, no i never do such a thing condo <laughs> home of the segway challenge brilliant place to land i say it maybe with sarcasm shall we put it like you get a decent amount of loot it's just mostly because of the amount of buildings that are there it's like all the other places you know and sort of the b c area you know there's people that go there like some games it could be chock a block but some games you could just be you just be you you just go there and it's just you to the whole town to yourself yeah and yeah. the loot there it's good um you usually come out there with some decent loot the cover it's all right if you get into some of those houses um or you know um buildings and everything you know hang you're most on, on. all right all right bro if you're up at the top of those buildings no one can shoot you hey yeah, yeah, you didn't let me finish Oh, I don't know. The interior, all right. The tops of those, though, the tops and the roofs, they are the places you need to be. Oh yeah, they, like you were going to say that after I mentioned it. I was, it. I was gonna, I was gonna say that. I was. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Now back on track though. Condo Canyon. Yeah, it doesn't stand to the command cavern and camp cuddle like despite having alliteration c's all the way through it doesn't yeah. it just doesn't have that value of what those two locations have and it's also because of the location too of <laughs> what it actually is <laughs> exactly exactly yeah man all right so now we get to the last part of the video where we go and reconsider the options that we have put like each one has in each tier honestly i don't see much <laughs> much dumb i i don't think i need to change anything personally the only thing if it was me being you know me being me if you do that i will leave the call yeah now well, now that's our selection of what we think each location in fortnite is in the tier list if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like but if you do enjoy all the videos that i do please make sure to subscribe also subscribe to rubes nz he has a channel too which i will leave in the description and don't forget to hit that bell that will give you notifications to video upcoming videos on the channel so you never miss them never miss them you want to say your goodbye i've been rubes nz you guys have been the viewers i'll see you guys later <laughs> I like that. Alright, enjoy the game, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.